Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market analysis dated January 31, 2023. Indian equity markets closed on a positive note today. Nifty opened gap up around 17,731 and managed to make a day high of 17,735. After that we can see some profit booking. At the time of close Nifty managed to close above 17,650 which is a good sign. Similarly Sensex climbed up almost 49 points to give a closing of 59,550. Talking about sectors, most of the sectors ended in green with Nifty PSU Bank emerging as top performer with gains of 4.28%. Now, talking about the three stocks that have managed to be in gainers list today are State Bank of India, Mahindra and Mahindra and Power Grid. Most of the banks showed positive signs today. Top three stocks mentioned above rose by 3.48%, 3.41% and 2.9% respectively. On the other hand we will talk about those three stocks which ended as top losers. They are Bajaj Finance, TCS and Tech Mahindra. They fell within the range of 1.93% to 2.29% respectively. For the corporate segment we have, IDFC First Bank has partnered with Tontag, a global proximity and voice tech solution provider to enable acceptance of digital rupee at merchant outlets. This follows a pilot launch of central bank digital currency for retail users by the Reserve Bank of India. UAE subsidiary Ultratech Cement Middle East Investments has signed agreement to acquire 70% stake in Dutton Cement Project International LLC, Oman, for $2.25 million. KEC International has secured new orders of 1,131 rupees crore across various businesses including transmission and distribution and civil. With these orders, the year till date order intake stands at over 15,500 rupees crore, a growth of 10% year on year. Kansai Nirolak Paints has entered into an agreement with realty developer House of Hiran and Danny Group to sell its nearly 24-acre land parcel at Cavesar in Thane for 655 crore rupees. Mangalore Refinery has posted standalone loss of 188 rupees crore for December financial year 23 quarter, narrowing from loss of 1,789 crore rupees in previous quarter with improving operating performance. For market movers we have, Monaxia was trading 19.91% up in today's trading session. As we can see in the chart stock was trading with volume of 3.30 milio. Also the stock is trading above its moving average which comes to 89.95 rupees which is positive sign for the stock. The relative strength index for the stock is above 50 representing uptrend in the stock. A big green candle can be seen to date signifying positive signs in this stock in short term. GTL Infrastructure was trading 17.65% up in today's trading session. As we can see in the chart stock was trading with volume of 59 million. Also the stock is trading above its moving average which comes to 1.05 rupees which is positive sign for the stock. The relative strength index for the stock is above 50 representing uptrend in the stock. A big green candle can be seen to date signifying positive signs in this stock in short term. Lois Industries Limited was trading 15.56% up in today's trading session. As we can see in the chart stock was trading with volume of 45,000. Also the stock is trading above its moving average which comes to 49.65 rupees which is positive sign for the stock. The relative strength index for the stock is above 50 representing uptrend in the stock. A big green candle can be seen to date signifying positive signs in this stock in short term. For stocks to watch we have, Zomato looks good on current market price of 49.75. It can be bought at 50 rupees keeping target of 54 rupees with stop loss of 47.80. Paisalo Digital looks good on current market price of 74.85.
It can be bought at 75 rupees keeping target of 85 rupees with stop loss of 67. That's it for today and I hope you found the video useful. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via missed call, email, or WhatsApp. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Please do like, share and subscribe our video for the latest updates in the stock market.